Shares of Bolero rolling higher once again today. J.P. Morgan out with a bullish note on the company, saying shares could surge as demand for events increases in a post-pandemic world. Let's bring in Tim Shannon, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Bolero. Great to have you with us, Tom. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. Um, we've got some bowling fans on the panel, and the analyst note yesterday um, called it the magic of bowling. And it, he's not just talking about the experience of bowling itself as a pastime, um, but basically, you know, some of the interesting um, business aspects of bowling, such as fixed costs, um, that really benefit the industry. So, can you sort of walk through that for us? Sure. So, the beauty of our business model is that about uh, two thirds of our revenue, which is bowling, Right, the activity of bowling, shoe rental, and arcade has little to no variable cost. So correspondingly, we have really high margins. Our center level EBITDA margin, our, our profit margin before rent, is about 50%. The industry average is 20%. So we're able to get from 20 to 40% just from a better operating model. We're very data driven. We have a tremendous amount of, uh, of data that we share across and optimize the business based on. So you know, you have a very high margin business. Uh, that results in very high returns on investment. We've deployed hundreds of millions of dollars in capital since we acquired AMF back in 2013 at about an average 40% return on investment for new builds and center conversions. Um, and it's also a not very labor dependent model. It's pretty self-serve. So when you come to go bowling, we turn on a lane, we give you shoes and you go and bowl for an hour or two hours. and you don't really need much labor to make it work, you know? And if we have a server that comes to the lanes, that's great. If not, you can go to the bar. The service expectations in a bowling alley are relatively modest. So we're able to charge a good price for what we do with mm -hmm. a very low cost structure. I see you bought three properties in Wichita, Kansas. I've been to Wichita, it's beautiful, by the way. But my point, I guess, is there's so much growth opportunity here. Can you speak to that? Because one would think bit saturated in Wichita, but quite frankly, there seems to be a lot of opportunities across the country in this. Absolutely right. So there are about 4,000 bowling centers in the U.S. We're the biggest <laughs> bowling player in the world by about 8x number two, but we only have about 8% market share. So 310, 320 locations. We're acquiring all across the country. We're building in many markets. We built a number of centers recently, um, two in Northern Virginia, one in Tyson's Corner, uh, in, uh, and in, over in Crystal City, uh, in Florida. We're building a number of new centers in California. So we have four vectors of growth. We acquire, we build new, we renovate existing centers that we own in our portfolio mm -hmm. that haven't been renovated yet. And then we have organic growth. So in the four years leading up to COVID, our same store sales growth was almost 5%, which was dramatically better than any of other location-based entertainment uh, competitors. Tom, we've got so many more questions, and, uh, including ones about gutter guards, the rise of gutter guards. Um, but we'll have to save it for another time. It's been really great speaking with you. Hey, great to see you, too. Thank you. Tom Shannon. By the way, full disclosure, we've had a Fast Money holiday party at a bowling alley. It was tremendous fun, yeah. Tim. And, and I understand you, you just partook in bowling recently, the other day. I, I would... I was bowling last weekend with my kids uh, and definitely needed the gutter guards. But uh, no, it's great fun. And if you think about the, the family experience there, but also <laughs> segment breakdowns, there I am with my kids. Um, they were better bowlers than I was. My daughter was for sure. Uh, but the bottom line here is that the, the ROI that he's talking about and his ability to grow that business and roll up uh, is very impressive. But more importantly, the margin in the business inherent is actually very impressive. I'm a buyer.